So we're going to build, thank you. We're going to build the wall. And the one thing, look, what I made me do best, I think my biggest strength, other than the economy, in which I seem to be winning every single poll, and jobs, 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 jobs. But I think my biggest strength is going to be national security. I think it's going to be the military. And that relates also to our economy, because we're defending nations all over the world, and a lot of these people take advantage of us. We're defending them, and the press, because they're so damn dishonest, they're the most dishonest. I talk about it, and I give the answer. I say, no, no, I want to defend Japan. I want to continue, but they have to continue to pay. They have to pay us a fair amount. I love Japan. I love Germany. I love, although they are ripping us off big league with devaluation, but we won't talk about that. Saudi Arabia making a billion dollars a day before the oil went down. A billion dollars a day, they're still making a fortune. We defend them. How stupid are we? We defend them. And all we have to do is say, you got to help us out, folks. We owe 19 trillion dollars. We want to continue to defend you. And here's where the press leaves me. They always say, I'll give you an example. You have South Korea. Every time this maniac from North Korea raises his head, all of a sudden it turns out to be like, you know, we send our ships, our planes, our soldiers. We've got 28,000 soldiers on the border right now between North and South, right? And every time something happens, they pay us a fraction of what this is costing us. Now, anytime you order a television or you order almost anything, it's coming out of South Korea. It's certainly coming out of that area, but it's coming out of South Korea. You order television. I order thousands and thousands of televisions a year. I mean, the only bidders I have are LG and Samsung and all these companies, and they make a fine product and all that stuff. We don't even make, I don't think we make televisions anymore in this country. I would love to find a company that made televisions. We don't make anything anymore, folks. We have lost, we're losing our base, we're losing our manufacturing, and it's disgraceful. So what I said is this, what I said is this, they gotta help us out. Now, I wanna continue to defend Japan. I mean, you know, look, I gotta continue. But when you make a deal, you always have to be prepared to walk. So one of these politicians, the dumb people, one of these politicians said the other day, I thought it was amazing, tell them we'll never leave them. You must say that we'll never leave them. And I heard him make a speech. We will never leave you, Japan. Well, if you say that, why the hell would they pay him? I listen to this moron, and I say, I say, he's saying you're not leaving. You have to be prepared to leave. And maybe we have to leave. And you're right. And maybe Japan has to defend themselves, okay? Then I heard a general on television. He said, Donald Trump is wrong about this. Don't you understand that they paid the 50% of the cost of their defense? So I get a call from one of the papers. They say, well, he said that Japan is paying for a big portion. I said, what portion? 50%. Then I actually saw the guy on television. I said, why aren't they paying for 100%? Why 50%? Well, and this general was so strong for them. Doesn't he understand that they pay for 50%? Now, if they say 50%, you know it's much less than that, okay? So if he tells you it's 50, it's much less. Germany, you have Germany, okay? Oh, what a job they've done with ISIS. What a job they've done. What a job they've done with the migration, with the migration, allowing millions of people to come in. Great going, great going, Germany, great going. Great going. You got millions of people going into Germany and other countries in Europe right now. Nobody knows where they come from. There's no documentation. There's no paperwork. The only thing you notice, they have cell phones. The only thing you notice is on that cell phone, in some cases, they have an ISIS flag printed on it. And I always say this, you know, I'm a common sense person. So you see the people, and you have a lot of young, strong men, right? Can we see that? And you have far fewer women than you would have thought. Look, they're all going, yes. Young, look at these, young, strong like that. You can take any of them, you three guys. But look, look. They have young, strong men. I say, where are the women? Now, there are women, but very few. There are children, but proportionately very few. And I say, why are they back fighting? 
the country. And then we take, our country is taking people in. But I see the cell phones. I see people walking, making calls. And I say, what the hell is going on? And here's what I ask. Forget they have a cell phone. Who's paying their bills? Who the hell's paying their bills? I mean, honestly, who is paying the bills? I mean, when you use a cell phone, you don't pay your bill. They cancel. Who's paying their bill? And it's got ISIS flags. And then all over Europe, they're taking these people. And all over the United States, they're sending these people. How stupid are we? This will come back to haunt us, folks. This will come back to haunt us. No matter where you go, you look at Sweden. They took a large number in a certain area. It's a disaster, okay? You look at what's going on in different countries. It's a disaster.